Good afternoon, everyone. Carlos Orisete. Welcome. Welcome to Brockton City Hall, our celebration of Greek Heritage Day and Greek independence. Uh, to open up our ceremonies today, I would like to invite Father Michael to come up with the invocation. Father? Thank you. Lord God, our God, you sent to Mary, Gabriel, to enunciate the word that she would give birth to the Logos. She freely said, yes. You've challenged us, O oh Lord, with many, many beautiful things, and we say, yes. O oh Lord, you created us to be free. You created us to have free will and to walk in your way. We celebrate the dual celebration today of the Annunciation of the Holy Mother of God and the Day of Independence of the Greek nation. O oh Lord, we thank you for the celebration and the lifting of the flag, which flag flies over all things which are free. We ask you to continue to bless our city of Brockton, all those who serve and are served by it, we ask your Lord that we stand freely before you, asking for your heavenly blessings. This we ask in your holy name. Amen. God bless. Thank you, Father. I would like to acknowledge uh, some of the elected officials that we have in attendance here this afternoon. Uh, let's see, from the city council, uh, Councilor Jack Lally from Ward 6 is here with us. Uh, from the southeastern, yeah. Didn't realize you were that popular, Jack. Uh, from the Southeastern Regional School Committee, Mark Lindy is here with us today. I do want to be sure to mention that uh, also from the city councilor, from the city council, both councilors Tim Cruz and Shirley Asak did call me, sending their regrets that they're unable to be here this afternoon. Uh, we have uh, our state legislative delegation here, led by Senator Mike Brady, who will be joining us in just a few minutes. And also Representative Jerry Cassidy is with us. And I know Representative Cronin is trying to get back here from Boston, so hopefully she'll be able to get here, but she is trying. At this time, I'd like to uh, invite up uh, Choir Director Heidi Mason, Cassie Pashas, and Aristeas Sotopoulos to perform our national anthem. Great job. They'll be back with us later in the program uh, with the Greek National Anthem. So again, uh, welcome. As always, it is, is a great pleasure to see so many friends of the Greek American community here today as we celebrate Greek Independence Day 
and the name day of the Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church in Brockton. His Eminence Metropolitan Methodios officiated Great Vespers last night in honor of these events. For 400 years, the Greek people were slaves and oppressed by the Ottoman Empire. The revolution began 198 years ago on March 25th, 1821, when Bishop, Bishop Germanos of Patras raised the Greek flag at his monastery, which started the War of Greek Independence. The cry, freedom or death, Zoe e Thanatos, became the motto of the revolution. Since 1821, the flag of Greece has had a white cross on the upper right-hand corner covering one-fourth of the flag, signifying the important role of the Greek Orthodox Church in the formation of the Hellenic nation. The blue and white alternating stripes represent the sea and relentless waves of the Aegean. The nine stripes represent each syllable of the words freedom or death. Today we also celebrate what Greece has contributed since its ancient days. The glorious Parthenon still stands as a symbol of beauty and architectural perfection. Throughout the world, buildings are modeled with Greek design, including our own American capital in Washington, D.C. The ancient Greeks made many influential contributions to Western civilization in the areas of philosophy, art, architecture, math, and science. The Greek community has had a strong presence in Brockton for over 100 years. So let's also celebrate all of you today. Many of you standing here today immigrated to the United States and chose to make Brockton your new home. The city of Brockton is glad to have many Greek American business owners, restaurants, dry cleaners, construction companies, accountants, financial professionals, doctors, and attorneys. We are all looking forward to attending the Greek festivals in May and September, where we can all be Greek for the day and enjoy all of the festivities. I'll leave you with a popular saying. Kalitera mia ora eleftri zoe, para saranta hronia sklavia ke filike. Filike, filike. This one. Sas efaristo, zito e alas. So at this time, it's my pleasure to introduce the Vice President of the Parish Council of the Greek Orthodox Church, Mr. George Panagalopoulos. Good afternoon. Father Michael, Honorable Mayor, of Brockton, Bill Carpenter, Honorable State Senator Mike Brady, distinguished officials and friends, thank you for your presence at the 198th celebration of Greek Independence Day. Today we celebrate freedom. 198 years have passed since the Greek Revolution of the 1821, the greatest historical event of modern history, Greek history. Today, we honor our glorious ancestors who sacrificed their own lives in order to gain our freedom. Our country is a small one, but at the same time, with a glorious history through the past. This is a strong cape of the Mediterranean Sea, with her only advantages being the courage of the people and the sea and the light of the sun. For the courage of the Greek people who fought bravely during the revolution of 1821, we're being today in order to honor them and never forget their sacrifices. Today, we also celebrate the Annunciation of the Virgin Mary, which day of our ancestors choose to start their, uh, their revolution against the Ottoman Empire. They choose this day because they wish to connect 
their brave gift, their brave fight for the freedom and religious beliefs. During these hard times that Greece currently faces, he, we should go back to our history and remember those great ideas of 1821. The ideals of our brave ancestors who fought and gave their own lives for their freedom, the human rights. We must think seriously about the goals we have lost and what, and what we must do in order to regain our true belief in a better and respectable way of life. The 25th of March is a very important day of the all Greeks. It's the day that unites us and we are filled with pride. We honor all those who fought bravely and sacrificed their own lives to give us an independent and successful homeland, which we all must love and be defend and continue to help they gain the the glory and greatness. Ladies and gentlemen, today we honor the heroes of 1821 that fought in their freedom. Today, they're in a city in Brockton. The Greek community is part of a mosaic of different cultures, and we are proud to be part of a city with great history and even brighter future. We're proud to be an American descent. Thank you. Patrick Mikhail, Axiotime Kiri Dimarche Vasili Marage, Axiotime Eklegmeni, Tispolos to Brockton gets Politeas Masavosetis. Η 25η Μαρτίου του 1921 αποτελεί την ημέρα της Εθνικής μας Παλιγενεσίας και είναι η πηγή του νεότερου εθνικού μας βίου. Είναι μοναδική ημέρα αφού είναι η μέρα που ο Αρχάγγελος Γαβριήλ φέρνει το μήνυμα της ελευθέρωσης του ανθρώπου καθώς και την, στην πατρίδα την Ελλάδα την ελευθερία. Στι 29 Μαΐου του 1453 όταν έπεφτε η πόλη και μαζί τη και η Βυζαντινή Αυτοκρατορία έφυγε και η ελευθερία από τα ελληνικά χώματα για να επακολουθήσουν χρόνια βόγκου και θανά, θανάτου, χρόνια γεμάτα μα, μαρτύρια και δάκρυα, ταπείνωση και ξεφτελισμού. Αλλά η ελληνική ψυχή δεν δέχτηκε την ήττα της και δεν υπέκυψε στη μοίρα της. Μέσα στα μοναστήρια και στα τσοκλήσια ο, πα, ο παπαδάσκαλος ανάβει τη φλόγα της λευτεριάς στις καρδιές των ραγιάδων. Έχει μέσα η φυλή, βλέπει τι έχασε, τι έχει και τι πρέπει. Στις κρίσιμες ώρες του εθνικού κατακλυσμού, η Εκκλησία και η τολμηρή γίνονται κυβωτός της εθνικής μας κληρονομιάς. Και έρχεται το πλήρωμα του χρόνου και ο ελληνικό λαός ορθώνεται σαν ένας άνθρωπος, ο θούριος του Ρίγα Εφραίου ακούγεται παντού, από το μαστήρι της Αγίας Λαύρας και Κραυγή, ελευθεριά η θάνατος, σχίζει το σκλαβωμένο αέρα σαν αστραπή και κλονίζει το θρόνο του Σουλτάνου. Η Ελλάδα αναγεννιέται από τη στάχτη σαν μυθικό πουλί, το πέσιμο, το πέσιμο που έφερε ένα μεγαλύτερο ανέβασμα σε όψη ουρανοφόρο. Όπως τονίζει και ο Παλαμάς και εμείς και προ... πρωτοθυμοποιούμε ποιο όνομα τόπου ή ήρωα να αναφέρουμε. Κάθε τόπος είναι και βωμός για προσκύνημα. Κάθε όνομα πολεμιστή είναι το, συμβο... το σύμβολο ηρωισμού και μένει στην ενιότητα και μας αφήνει ένα σύμβολο ειρήνης και ελεύθερης ζωής. Ζήτω 25 Μαρτίου. Ζήτω η Ελλάς. God bless America. So I'd like to acknowledge that uh, State Representative Claire Cronin has joined us. Thank you. I explained during the opening that you were doing your best to get back from Boston, so I had complete confidence in you. You made it. You made it. Uh, 
representing our state legislative delegation, I would like to invite up the dean of the delegation, State Representative Michael Brady. And as I may have mentioned, we're, we're joined by my fellow colleagues, Representative Cassie and Representative Claire Cronin, and also our Counselor Ann Beauregard from Ward 5 has joined us. And I'm very honored to be here in this celebration of Greek Independence Day amongst all our good friends of the community from Brockton and the surrounding towns. You know, not only do we celebrate Greek Independence, which started on March 25, 1821, but it also coincides with the Greek Orthodox Church's celebration of the Annunciation when the Archangel Gabriel appeared to Mary to tell her that she would bear the Son of God. So it was a very holy day in the community as well, and a holy day across the world. So I'm very honored to be here, and I'm very honored to be amongst all our good friends, and I'm gonna keep it short because we have food here and food at the Cafe Neo afterwards, so God bless you all. Thank you. Okay, at this point I'd like to uh, exercise my official duties and issue a proclamation uh, recognizing Greek Independence Day on the part of the city of Brockton. I'm gonna use my glasses to make sure I get it right. And uh, afterwards I'll invite Father Michael to come up and accept the proclamation. I believe this is your first Greek Independence Day with us here at Brockton City Hall. So we'll, we'll present you with the proclamation representing the Greek community, if that's okay. Whereas Greece declared independence from the Ottoman Empire on March 25, 1821, in an act that demonstrated the resolute spirit that has characterized Greek culture throughout the ages, and whereas the birth of democracy in Greece ushered in a golden age of Western civilization, creating a culture that valued human liberty and dignity, principles that have inspired American democracy to this day, and whereas the friendship between our two nations flows from our shared values, common goals, and mutual respect, and our alliance has remained strong through decades of challenge and change. And whereas the city of Brockton has been greatly enriched by the introduction of Greek customs, religion, and culture, which were brought to us by the Greek immigrants who made their way to our city and have made an indelible mark on the city of champions. And whereas it is an honor to recognize the accomplishments and contributions of our citizens of Greek ancestry and to extend to them best wishes for continued sex and pro <laughs> success is what I said, <laughs> success. <laughs> best wishes for continued success. I'm sure that's what I said. And prosperity. Or you can interpret it however you want. Um, now, therefore, be it resolved, I, Bill Carpenter, as mayor of the city of Brockton, do hereby proclaim March 25th, 2019, as Greek Heritage Day, and I urge all residents of the city of Brockton to join me in observing this day and recognizing all the wonderful contributions the Greek culture has made to our community. And this is signed and sealed by me today, and it's uh, my pleasure to present this this year to Father Michael. years and for the next at least 100 years the Greek Orthodox community and Brockton are one right. always. always that was thank you sir thank you. Thank you. so I guess I will also share with you we're very excited that uh, Father Michael has accepted my invitation to do the invocation at the State of the City address on Thursday evening so I'm looking forward to that also Father at this time, we get to the important part, uh, the singing of the Greek national anthem and the raising of the Greek flag here in City Hall. So we'll invite uh, Director Heidi Mason and Cassie Pashas and Aristeas Sotopoulos to come back up. And we'll also invite George and whoever else you'd like to invite George to assist you in the raising of the Greek flag. 
George, you ready? Okay, start again. Ready? I know. Here we go. Ready? Senorita Portinozzi, That concludes our official ceremonies here at uh, Brockton City Hall today. And I'll see you all over at the club in just a little while. Thank you. Thank you.